Hey guys, what's up? This is Inventor Boy 16. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, um, and I'm sorry again for uh, not um, doing videos in a while. I'm just, uh, I'm just waiting for something really good to do a video on, so yeah, but, uh, yeah, but today I'm going to just do a uh, sort of a pros and cons video about the EZIP E500. So I'm just going to, you know, just give it about, tell you guys about what I think is my personal opinion, what is bad about it, or what is, and what is good about it. And, um, believe me people, there's a lot more good about this thing than there is bad. Um, so, I'll start, um, with the cons. So, the things I sort of don't like about this thing are, um, one, for, definitely, is the, um, deck. I wish they used a stronger, like, um, material for the deck, because, like, um, it used to be that nice, like, it used to have a nice green pattern on here, but I had to spray paint it black because it got so messy, and, like, the, like, in the, see the white strips going down here? It was like that, but on the whole entire deck. So it was really bad looking, so I had to spray paint it black. Um, I just wish they, um, put on a bit better of a, um, coat of protection for the deck to make it a little bit more protected so it doesn't get all meh, messy and blech looking like it is right now but um but it does um it, it is really it is industrial grade plastic and it, it will not break on you very easily you'd have to like smash it really hard with a hammer in order to break it um another con i would have um about this is um sort of the motor um being mounted how it is um and don't get me wrong, it is pretty cool how um, it, like, sticks out and makes it look like a motorbike or, like, a gas vehicle, even though it's not. Um, but um, you see how the motor is, like, the motor is actually not mounted to the scooter's frame itself, like, which is the whole thing itself here. It's mounted to the chain guard, which the chain guard's a pretty thick metal. Um, but the thing is, is if you hit, really hit it hard, you can bend it or even, like, almost rip off the motor. Th thank God I haven't had an instant incident like that um but if like if you like were to like do a curve too hard and you're like a turn and then you fell over on this side you could really damage the motor but luckily they have the chain gu the guard here around the motor so that doesn't happen um another con i would have to say is um that the chain doesn't have a ch automatic chain tensioner like on the razors they have like a little spring and then it has like a little uh, like um, a pulley thing on it and then it keeps the chain tight with this if the chain gets loose you have to adjust the motor you see by the little strips there that are opened or whatever the motor tilts so you can tighten the chain um and just one more thing i would really have to say that's sort of a con is the um is the tire here um these tires are really soft which is a really good thing if you want traction but um, the thing is, is if you like, were to, um, uh, if you were to break really hard, or if you were to, um, or if you were to uh, like, like do like a burnout or something, which I don't see why you would do that because it's just a waste of your tire. But oh well, you guys do what you do. But um, the tire, um, the tread comes off rather easily in the rear. The front one still looks like new. It still has the bristles on it and the, um, and like the. Like where it where it was um like fused together like a little like little line going down here. This it's completely worn. You can still see some of like the indention of like the traction on it, but it, the tire is completely worn down. Really, it's not like damaged or anything. It's just worn. So yeah, that's just one thing to keep in mind. It does have a sort of a get really worn down tire where you can wear it down rather easily. But once you really break this thing in and stuff like that, like how I have it right now, the tire doesn't lose much tread. It's only when it's brand new in the rear that it really loses the tread. But right now, it hasn't changed really since I've, since I, uh, um, since a couple months ago. Like really, it hasn't changed at all. I haven't lost much tread at all. Um, and one last con, and it's not really a con really, it's just, you know, just common sense, but it's sort of a really sort of annoying thing that you have to deal with it's the battery box being low 
well, it's not really low, nowhere near as low as the Razors, but it's pretty low, but um, it's pretty high up, actually. But um, the thing is, if you're doing turns or if you're going over, like, a pretty steep bump or something, it can hit this and scratch it, which I have a scratch on the other side, which I, I don't think you guys can even see. Let's see if I can try to get you a little view of it. That's sort of it, that little white line there. It gets scratched rather easily if you go over a bump or anything, or if you go off a curve too slowly, and you can scratch up the battery box. Um, but that's really the only con, other con I have about it. Now for the pros. The major pro I have about this thing is it is extremely powerful for its size. The motor, if you like, if you were to t take a really close look at it, you'd think this thing is really just a weak piece of garbage. But this thing is extremely powerful. And I mean extremely powerful. It was able to haul me weighing only a hundred and uh, weighing a hundred and like ten pounds or whatever. I don't know how much exactly. Um, but it was able to carry me weighing 110 pounds. It was able to pull a trailer weighing, let's see, 100 and, um, no, wait, no, wait. Uh, yeah, 120 pounds. It was able to pull a trailer full, uh, full um, with 120 pounds in it, and it was still able to go pretty decent speed. So this thing has a lot of torque for its little tiny size motor or whatever. It's a 500 watt motor, which is pretty nice. You know, right in the middle. Um, but another pro I have about this thing is this overall, just how sturdy this thing is. Um, the reason I took off the back fender is because I had to service it. Like I said, the chain gets loose every now and then. I got to clean, um, tighten it. Um, but just the overall sturdiness of this thing is really impressing. Like um, I've took it, to, I've taken it to a BMX park. And I've did those jumps and those like tabletops and like those like cone walls or whatever on this thing it handles it great it can handle it really good the only like and the thing is this thing can handle some beats like really hard hits to it you know it can handle a real beating um yeah and it's like the frame on it is just extremely tough is the three bars going up here, and then the bars go down here, and those are what holding the back wheel on, which is really sturdy. Um, the thing, the scooter, it's just really tough. Another pro I have about it is the um, charging. Not really the charging, but the batteries on it. The batteries are really good. They last a really long time. Uh, mine, I, my scooter particularly, I've had it for a year now, or I don't know, it's been more, it's been a little bit more than a year. I've had it for more than a year now, and it's pretty beat up, but I ride this thing every single day. So, but the batteries on this thing, they last forever. Like, you, I, like from stock, these batteries get about four, um, t for me, I've ridden this thing for, um, four hours. On the back, on on a single charge, and um, it 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 still goes about that amount on a full charge. Like you can still go about with me, I can still go about three. I don't know three hours or something on a full charge. I don't know exactly, but these batteries hold a really good charge. So yeah, and the bag sort of broken there. I got like it, like whenever I unzipped it, it popped out the zipper. Stuff. Like I said, guys, my scooter's really beat up. The charging door has been ripped off, and the back fender's come off. But, yeah, overall, guys, I would highly recommend this scooter. Um, you know, you really do get what you pay for with this thing, and you get, really, you get a high-quality scooter. So, I don't know if I can just get this stinking, there you go. Um, but, yeah. So, um, anyway, this has been my pros and cons video for the eZip E500. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, I will see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Bye.